Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over a few extra things with the EMB and Sweet Effects for Gothic 3. And basically, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your game to version 1.75. As well, I'm going to show you how to tweak the INI afterwards. And also, if you're also playing a game in 1.6 and you have some saved game files I'll show you how to convert those over so that you can actually run it on the 1.75 I will leave a link to the original setup video and the mod here so that you can actually get all the add-ons and any downloads that you'll need and once you're here you just want to go down to the additional setups and you'll notice that I've changed the notes here slightly now as far as getting the 1.7 community patch if you're using a GOG version or the original version then you just want to go here and open that link and then download the update here and then once you download it then you just want to run the download and it will update your game from 1.6 up to 1.75 now if you're using a steam version then all you have to do is go to your game list and you'll see it listed as gothic 3 and then you'll want to right click and select properties Go over to the betas tab here and just change it from none to the 1.75 and then say close and then you'll see that it will download the update and once it's done then the gothic 3 name change will show this so once you've updated to the 1.75 then if you have any save files you'll want to do this next part if you don't have any saves and you're starting a new game then just go ahead and start the game at this point and it should run fine but stick around because I will show you how to add the 4 gigabyte patch to the game after you've updated it as well as update your INI to improve the overall visual look to the game so that you basically get a distance where you can see everything like on this picture here so back to the mod page here so once you've updated to the 1.75 you want to go to your actual save game folder if you have saved games and you just want to go to the documents folder and you'll see the goth 3 folder listed there now just copy that and then paste it onto your desktop and as you can see here I've got my old saves backed up right here and then what you want to do is you open up this file here the folder and you delete all the old save files out of it except for your highest numbered g3 save data file so you would delete all of these out and just leave that one file in now in this case I've already saved my game but I had taken all the saves out and made the backup so then you can go into the backup here and just go down your list to the last one with the highest number make sure it's the save data and just copy it and paste it into that folder there now you won't have these two save files when you do that you'll just have this one file here left but what I did at this point 
after I had the three files here and all the rest of the files were gone with the backup, I went and I started my game. And when I started the game, it came up like this. So I turned off the alternate balancing and started a new game and told it yes. Then at that point, once the game started and I got past the cutscene, I just did a new save. So it saved as number one. And then after making the save, I quit the game. So as you can see, it's using the 1.75 right there. Now after making the save game here, number one, these two files showed up inside the folder with the extra file that was left over from the save games. So at this point, you want to take the new data file here and you want to move that onto your desktop. And then copy its name, including the extension, and paste it over top of the original G3 save data here from your old save. And save it. And then at this point, go ahead and run your game, whether from here or GOG and start the game again and then at that point when you start the game tell it to load file and you'll see that file listed so just start the game from that file and it will load in the original 1.6 save so then resave it over top of itself and I'll actually in my playthrough videos do that quickly and go over the settings in that so once I get a chance to do that video I'll show you the in game but basically at this point when you start the game you should see the save game still listed and you just want to start it it'll load in your original 1.6 save resave it over top of itself and it will update it and then you're good to go at that point so that basically covers the save game part of it. Now as far as actually tweaking the game and stuff once you've updated to the 1.75, you want to go to the mod page here and we've already done the 1.6 to 1.75 save transfer. And whether your GOG an original game user or a Steam user then we should also be updated to the 1.75 so then just go here underneath and you can get the modified GE3 I and I here so just go to that link and what this does is this is the view distance that you'll normally have and as you can see you lose a lot of the distance detail but once you put the replacement in then you'll get a lot more detail everything will come through nicely so in order to do that I want to go back here so in order to do that you want to go down here to the basic patch and I and I tweak and just use this link here and you can download the G3 I and I that you'll need. No, oh, that's not the right one. Sorry. This link here. That first link is actually to the original um, 1.75 patch. So you don't really have to use that link in order to download it because you'll get it from here. But anyways, sorry about that, but you use this one here for the improved INI file. And just click on that and click on the download. 
and save the file. Then go to the actual downloads folder and you'll want to copy the, the INI here. Then depending on where your Gothic 3 is located, if it's GLG, you want to go to C program files, GLG Galaxy and games, and it will be in this folder here. If you're a Steam user, then you want to go to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then your games are here and go to Gothic 3. And then open the INI folder here. And you'll already have a backup right there. So basically, just copy this and paste it over top of the one here. And that will now update your distance so that basically you'll be able to see a lot more detail in the, in the distance here rather than it being all faded out. And that's basically all you have to do for the I and I tweak in order to make that visual adjustment there. Just like you see in the desktop I have here. Now lastly, if you want to download the 4 gigabyte patch and apply that to your Gothic 3, you just want to go down here to adding the 4 gigabyte large address where. Now this here information shows you if you're just doing it with the 1.6 version how to do it. As the files are a little different so you just want to follow that. Now if you want to apply it to the 1.75 then just open that link up and download it if you haven't already done so with the 1.6. Now let's see. I'll correct that link if it's a link problem. Okay, let's just use that. Perhaps their site might be down at the moment. Oh, it'll be too bad if their site is down. Otherwise, normally you would go here and there we go. And then once you're here, download the four gigabyte patch right here. And just save that. And then once you save that, you can actually run it right from the zip folder here. Just run the patch. And what I did here was well, I had the game folder open, I went and copied the, the name here. So let me just go up right there. So I copied that name and then I pasted it in here. And that's why it's coming up with that in the settings there and you just press enter and it will list it off here so then basically set it to exe files and you're gonna apply it to both the files here so do this one first and say another file set it to exe files again and then do that one and just say okay and now you have the game also patched with the 4 gigabyte patch. Now at this point you're all finished adding in all the extras and the add-ons and patching everything, tweaking your INI and, I and such. So you should be all set and if you're playing a game from 1.6 it should be now working on 1.75 if you followed those instructions and you can look over the information here through this link if you want to 
double check this information as you're actually watching the video here and I updated the information thanks to El Elandrius who pointed out that it wasn't working so I spent several hours actually determining how to get it working properly so those instructions are there although I've also shown you how to do it so hopefully this has helped and if you do have any questions or any concerns please let me know in the comments below or on the mod itself or even on steam here all right now if you'd like to see more content like this please leave a like and subscribe otherwise thanks a lot for watching take care and i'll talk to you again